Uh, welcome to, to Washington, D.C. You're here at the right time because we're just getting underway. We haven't really passed anything that's uh, amazing yet. and uh, We haven't killed anything that's amazing yet, but we're in session. and. You're a country that, that we have great feeling for and, and great historical importance to the United States of America. And it's good of you to be here today. And I also want to brag on you for something. Uh, my little county in Rockwall, Texas, uh, it's the smallest county in 254 counties there, but it's the fastest growing county in the whole United States and smallest city in uh, Rockwall County is a little city named Fate. And I watched the census on fate for two years, and each year it was 74 people. I asked my dad, how can that be so? He said, it's simple. Every time a baby's born, a man leaves town. So I don't know if that's the way it is in, in uh, your country, but that's the way it is sometimes in our country. But we're honored to have you here. I'm, I'm really honored to recognize you as uh, the uh, best uh, uh, cultural uh, capital of Europe and uh, I think uh, in 2010 you to be the European city of the year. Uh, that's as it should be because we have a history of having high regard for your country. I'm the oldest guy in the United States Congress. I'm the dean of the United States Congress. That doesn't mean I'm the prettiest or the smartest, but I'm the oldest by golly. And I, I know and I've been here when things happen. I remember very well in World War II, you didn't participate in World War II, but you were our ally and you helped us in World War II. But I well remember my father who was in World War I talking about the Battle of the Dardanelles, the bravery of the Turks, how, how you were totally, completely allies of the United States of America. And that's why we welcome you here today. And I really believe that for every congressional district, every city, every person that has a congressional office here in Washington, D.C. will be open to you, Republican or Democrat. And don't take any distinction in them because we're all here really more together than the press indicates that we are. We're here for that that Jeremy Bentham, the great British speaker, writer, poet said, the greatest good for the greatest number. That's what we work for. That's what you stand for. You're honored to be here. I'm honored to be here, a part of you. God bless you, and come by my office at 2004 in the Sam Rayburn family. Your time and your timings will be open to you. We want to hear from you. We want to visit with you. I want to come back and visit your country again, and I will be here, and God bless you.